Hey everybody and welcome to Handicrafts. Today we are doing a crayon or oil pastel and watercolor drawing and painting. So I have my materials here in front of you. I'll show you in a second. But this is something that you can do wherever you like. And I'm going to do it top, top side, which is out of the cabins of the deck, what they call on top of the deck of the boat. And I'm going to do some drawings of some of the boats that we have around that I've been looking at for the past month um, from the deck of my boat. So here we go. These are the materials that I have for this. Just some paper on a clipboard, either your crayons or your oil pastels. Um, Sharpie, pen, pencil, whatever you'd like, a couple paint brushes. You're gonna need a cup of water and a little paper towel just to dry your brushes off when you're done. So let me show you what I'm looking at here. Over here we have our friendly lobster men friends that are next door. Um, this is another big fishing boat that they run. And you can see a little bit of the sails of my boat, the helm, and my friend. And here we go, some other boats and docks. So here we are sitting on the fishing and lobster docks in Portland, Maine. Here we are, and we're gonna draw. So the point of these drawings today is to show that when you put water, which is, or watercolors, which is water-based, over crayons or oil pastels, which are oil-based, they don't mix. So wherever you try and paint over is going to kind of repel the water like the, ab the opposite of a magnet, right? Um, so if you paint, if you crayon white crayon, it'll stay white even after you paint all over it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick drawing of one of these boats that we have next to us. And this one is actually called the Flying Monkey which came and left for a while and then came back. So I'm gonna do the flying monkey and show you what I mean. All right, so now that we have our whole drawing done, this is the flying monkey who is right over there. You can see that guy. And now we're gonna see the magic of this watercolor paint with this oil-based crayon. So you take a little bit of water. You all know how to use watercolor paints. Take a little bit of water. I'm gonna go for some blue. I'll probably go for some black and purple later, but here we go with our blue watercolor and I tried to get it as best as I could. We'll see what happens. So if you paint over this, see how it bubbles up here? Even if I go all the way across, see how it bubbles up? You can see closer. How it bubbles up on the top there, but it doesn't really go in. Now I didn't make it super thick because it's really hard to do white there. But I can paint right over this. And there's my red and my blue. So I know it's wild that uh, a boat is in the water, but here we go. Let's do our nice little watercolor paint here. Add a little bit of water. You only use need a little bit of pigment, right? And it spreads right out. It spreads right out. But see my how my edge is still super nice there? You can just go whoop almost with your finger and erase it. So I'll bring it up a little bit higher. Get some nice little uh, bits of the water in there. It's right next to the dock, so it's pretty calm. There's not really any big waves. We'll just do some nice, uh, nice calm water. And then we're going to do uh, some lighter water up behind it because 
is not super close. There we go. You see how I can just go right over my boat? And it doesn't do anything. So you can draw your tree first, or whatever it is that you draw, and then do your sky behind it, do a nice sunset. Go, how, go about it, however you want to go about it. Because you're not going to mess up your nice drawing, which I think is pretty cool. So, do a little bit of, see if I can get some bright red under there. Because of this red streak, it actually reflects into the water. So this is his red line at waterline where it's touching the boat and it reflects a little bit. So that's how you can do a crayon or oil pastel drawing and then paint over it and have it stay the same. And I'll show you the whole boat right over here. There's my flying monkey. All right. Thanks for joining me, guys. We'll see you next time.